Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 10 of season 3 2021 in the brand new Formula V rookie series with me driving the Formula V. This week's circuit, we're back at Lime Rock Park, but this time for a different layout. It's the Chicanes layout with both versions of the Chicane. And the date and time is set to the 17th of May 2021 at 12 o'clock in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out in the season 3 PDF. All circuit guides are run with baseline car sales, but this is a fixed series anyway. Same format as before. Breakdown lap followed by full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap. And as usual, this this is filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. So let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this relatively flat out circuit with only two braking zones. That's right, two. Okay, let's get started. So we're on the left hand side, ready for the fast right, surprisingly fast right hander of turn one. No brakes, so we're not going to pause the video. At the number one board, start turning in and lift off. And then when you feel comfortable, downshift to third. Careful not to lose it because it gets unstable on downshifts. And then start accelerating all the way out on the exit. Get to the right hand side before we lift off again for turn two. No brakes. Keep it in third gear. Aim for this curve on the left hand side and then stick to the left hand side on exit so you can open up this right hander and be flat out all the way through that right hander there. Nice and easily done. So now we're approaching our first braking zone for our first chicane of this Lime Rock layout and it's the tree on the left hand side. You can see the shadow on the track but that might be different depending on conditions. We're going to brake from fourth down into third of course, get it turned in and you want to accelerate from that first right hand side orange curb all the way through those. So if you can get the angle right, it's flat out all the way through the rest of them from that first orange point. Next braking zone is coming right up. Look for the little hut on the left hand side. It's ever so slightly before that curb on the left just up ahead and we're going to keep it in third gear. Hard on the brakes. Kind of missed the first apex by a long way because it's really important that you open up this corner here. You can see we started accelerating but the most important thing is that you're flat out through this left hander uh, in the West Bend chicane because that really sets you up nicely for this downhill fast right hander where you upshift just before you start turning in into fourth gear at the 136 kilometers an hour mark and then it's flat out of course all the way down this straight. To create yourself the best exit you can you need to be flat out through that left hander of the West Bend chicane. You can accelerate slightly through the right hander, but you really need to open up the left. So now full speed uninterrupted. Turn in at the number one board. Quick lift off. Downshift into third. Start accelerating from this point nice and smoothly so you can get it turned in. Mount the curb on the right hand side if you have to. Back over to the right. Lift off for turn two. Keep it in third gear. Aim for the curb on the left. Stick to the left hand side. Flat out now all the way through this right hander. Again, you can use the curb on the right if you need to. It doesn't really matter where you position your car here, but you do need to be on the left-hand side as you approach the chicane. Back up into fourth gear, breaking at the tree, down into third, get it turned in. Bang, straight on that accelerator all the way up this hill now. You need to get, you don't need to be smooth on the power there. If you've got the angle right, it should be straight on the throttle, up the hill you go. Looking for that hut on the left-hand side. Now there it is just before the curb, hard on the brakes, missed the first apex completely. Get it turned in, take a nice wide entry, feather in the throttle, and then flat out through this left-hander and down the hill we go. And watch the upshift, it's just as we start turning in into this flat out right-hand around the final corner. There it is, 135 kilometers an hour, around 81 miles an hour I think it is, and then across down the street straight for a lap around Lime Rock Park, the chicane layout for a 108.853. As usual, that's pretty much it from me. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're aiming for 3,000 subscribers by the first week of October, so let's keep that going, keep that momentum up. As usual, like I said, that's pretty much it from me. If I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.